guys, have you ever heard about those GPUs from China? No, well, all the graphics cards come from China, right? But have you ever heard about those scam GPUs which you can buy on Alibaba, AliExpress, Wish.com, where they promise you a GTX 1060 or 1080 for like 60 bucks? Well, you might think nothing can go wrong for that price, but in reality, a lot can go wrong. But what if I tell you that those things are actually not too bad? Well, if you lower your standards to something like 2005 and Counter-Strike Source. But what if I tell you that you can get those things for free? I even got this graphics cards for zero dollars. And no, it's not because I'm a YouTuber and I get everything shoved up my ass. I actually paid $62, or wait, $68 for this GPU. And well, I've ordered this one here from Wish.com and it arrived after something like 4 to 5 weeks. But after like 5 seconds of holding it in my hands, I was like, this thing is not real. But I have to be honest, the graphics card was actually working and it was recognized in GPU-C as a GTX 1060 with a lot of fake specifications because they have a fake BIOS on the card. Now you already know that it's fake if you look at it. There are so many components that are missing. If you have a look at the connectors, we have only one HDMI, we have VGA, we have the old DVI, so not the new one. And the cooler, well, it's the worst piece of crap I've ever had in my hands. So this is really pure chunk. But I was really curious, can I get this thing back in a working condition? But before I can do that, I actually had to find out which GPU it is in reality. And I'll show you my journey right now on how I fix this GPU. And afterwards, we'll play some games. So let's check this out. So guys, there we go. Now here's the graphics card and as you can see it looks very simple and very basic. If you check out here the connectors we can see that there's an HDMI port, there is VGA and DVI and there was also a stick on the graphics card which um, said that this here is a GTX 1060 Ti which well doesn't actually exist so there is a GTX 1080 Ti but I've never heard of a GTX 1060 Ti. All right, so I would say um, let's remove the heatsink, which I've already done, and let's have a closer look at the chip. So there we go, there are just four screws on the backside, only one inside right now, because, well, I already removed the heatsink to have a um, quick look, but I didn't clean off the chip. And there we go. Now, as you can see, there's a little connector for the fans, and there we have it. So here we have the chipset. Now give me a second, I will clean this off with some isopropanol and then we can actually check out the chip to see um, which model it really is. Oh yeah guys, so we did it. Here's the chipset as you can see and here is the actual number of the chipset, so the real number. And as you can see it's a HEF 106-250-KA-A1. If you looked it up on Google, you will quickly find out that this here is a GTS 450, a um, graphics card from 2010, so it's really, really old. Now, the Chinese have modded the BIOS to trick you that this is a GTX 1060, but no, it's not. So in order to repair that unit, we actually have to reflash the BIOS to um, the real BIOS, because with the modded BIOS and the fake memory, it, it keeps crashing in all of the games. All right, so let's quickly try to do this. Okay, so now we know that this here is actually a GTS 450, but how we can get this card working again? Well, first of all, you need to identify the card that this here is a GTS 450, and then you need to reprogram the BIOS. So the BIOS is stored on this little chip right over here. So on this graphics card, the chip number starts with PM. So um, you need to be careful because there are similar chips here on the card, which look identical, but they're actually just power controllers like this one right over here. Or here on the back side, there should be another one. And this is also not a BIOS chip, even though it looks the same. So you really need to check. Mostly they start with PM, which you can see right over here. 
Now, you cannot flash the BIOS via software because the Chinese are pretty smart and they have locked it. So you can only buy a hardware programmer like this one here. So this right over here is the CH341A mini programmer and it allows you to flash BIOS chips as you can see right over here. Now you can buy this one here on Amazon or eBay really cheap, something like 5 or 10 euros. But you also need to get this extension cable right over here, which I will just explain in a second. Now usually you just stick the ICs directly into that with an adapter board, but since um, the IC is still on the graphics card and we don't want to remove it, we need an adapter tool. Now in order to connect to the chip, we use this little clip right over here, which you can see, which clips directly to the pins of your IC on the GPU, so you don't need to remove it. And you have to stick that one here into your, um, into your programmer, as you can see, and then flip this little lever to fix it inside. But you need to be careful. So there's a little diagram on this um, programmer which shows you where you have to put in the pin one. And pin one, as you can see, it faces here this pin. On some um, programmers it's different, also in some softwares it shows it different, but you need to check what's displayed on your hardware. So, we know that pin 1 must be right over here, and then you need to check where pin 1 is on your adapter right over here, so here. Then you stick it in, flip the lever, and then you have the clip right over here. And now you also need to identify where pin 1 is on your chip. And pin one is usually where there is a little dot, so it indicates that pin one is right over here. And then you need to align the red cable right over here with pin one on your chip. And then you just clip it. I can show you how that looks like. It's actually very simple, but those clips are very, very tricky. So we see right over here that there is a little dot which indicates that pin one is right over here. And then you need to make sure that the red cable here is touching pin one and then just clip it onto the IC. And as you can see, this comes off really easily. So you need to be really careful on how to clip it onto the IC and then don't move it. All right, so now I've shown you the hardware part and what you need and now I'll show you the software part on how to extract save and rewrite the BIOS on your graphics card. Now usually the process is very simple. You're gonna download the Flasher software, install the drivers, identify the chip model of your graphics card and download the BIOS from a few cards. And then you connect the clip and save the stock BIOS a few times before you start to flash anything. But unfortunately, it looked like my BIOS chip is broken as the readings were all garbage. I've tested the clip for a couple of hours, but the clip is really fine, because I could read the chip from an old motherboard without a problem. So in the end I decided to desolder the BIOS chip from the motherboard and exchange it with the one on the GPU. Before I did that, I actually flashed the BIOS of the GPU to the motherboard BIOS chip and checked if everything is fine. And yes, it worked without a problem. So after exchanging the BIOS chip, I saw that this card has no additional 6-pin connector for the extra power a GTS 450 usually needs. So why not give it a try and connect it to an external power supply? Now I'm not sure if that is working because well it's also missing a few components, but I've just soldered some cables directly to the pins of the GPU and then it was time for a test run. Alrighty guys, so it's time to revive the computer and I hope it won't burn down. So well, we have the graphics card right over here with the modded BIOS with extra power to the 6-pin connector. Okay guys, I'm really scared, so let's give the GPU some power. Turn on the PC. And... Oh yeah, the fans are spinning! Guys, the fans are spinning, the GPU is on! Alright, so let's check if we can get a signal. Okay guys, this is not good, it did just hang up and freeze. So let's try to reboot. And there we go! So after the successful boot, I tried to play some games. First I've started with Unreal Tournament 2004, as I thought the card would perform really bad. But well, it handled the game really good. A few micro lags here and there, but it was well playable. So after the success, I tried to go straight to Counter-Strike GO, and well, it worked really fine. For sure a bit micro stutter, but it was well playable. 
Now for sure resolution wise we did run it at 1440x900 which is the maximum of that monitor but I still think this card can even keep up in 1080p quite well. Fortnite was, well, playable, but I've experienced much more lags on mid graphics. You can look up the performance of a GTS 450 in various YouTube videos. So far I think for a free GPU, that thing is not too bad considering you have a halfway decent CPU. I'm running an old i3 processor with 8GB of RAM in this thing, which can be considered as a super budget gaming PC. Alrighty guys, so we're now here at the end of this video and well, it was quite a lot of fun. Now it did cost me like a whole week to film this because this graphics card was really, really terrible to fix. Now first of all, with my flashing tool, well, I couldn't read the chip for like a hundred times. Then finally it worked. I already thought that the flasher is broken, but I checked all the connections. Well, it was such a pain and in the end, I was like, okay, I think maybe the chip is corrupted because I had this in my computer and it suddenly stopped working. So yeah, I thought it's like a super piece of chunk, but actually just the BIOS chip was broken. This is like a part you can get for 50 cents. And it's also when you, you know, you break your card, you have to replace that one. So I've in the past, I've actually fixed quite a few graphic graphics cards by just replacing the BIOS chip, which I bought from eBay for like five euros. Now, in order to repair such a card, you don't need to do that. That was really an overkill. But just on this card, while it's a piece of chunk, then just the BIOS chip was corrupted. And yeah, actually you can reflash those cards with the flasher I've shown you. I'll leave you some links down below in the description if you want to do that. It's actually not that easy because there are not too many tutorials online. But for sure, if you need some help, just write a comment down below. I'm checking this from time to time. Now with that GPU, well, um, I'm not really sure if that additional power input had any impact. So far, it was not crashing that often anymore. Sometimes it was still crashing, like when I tried Day C or something. It was crashing way more in the beginning because they have modded um, the BIOS to display four gigabytes of RAM. So when you start an application, the application thinks, oh wow, four gigabytes of RAM, let's make it full. Then you get to the memory cap, which is here one gigabyte, and it tries to write more memory, more, more data to the memory, and then it just overwrites and you get an error and it crashes. So in order to make this card usable for gaming, you really have to reflash it to the original one, which is here at GTS 450. You have to be a bit careful though, because there are different revisions, not every BIOS works. There are also different scam cards, not all of them are GTS 450, there are some RX 470 or something like that, uh, I don't know, so pff, yeah, just check this out, it's actually really funny. And the cool thing is, I haven't paid a single cent. This video is not sponsored by Wish by any means, they just refunded all my money I paid because I sent them some proof, hey guys, this is fake. Um, I even took the cooler off, so um, the heatsink off, so I can actually take a picture of the chipset and said, guys, look at this, this is fake. And like, one day later, I got my money back, and this is really legit. But I think Wish is still making tons of money with those scams from, from the cuts they get, so from the revenue share from those Chinese scammers who put it on Wish. And my message to Wish is, you bastards, you should really stop listing this crap. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but there are plenty of kids out there, they want cheap graphics cards, they see Wish, they order a lot of junk from Wish, and then you sell them a piece of serious crap. I mean, it's okay if you give them the money back, because this is a piece of crap. I mean, it's working, but still, you expect something else, and it's really disappointing for some people. And some people, they just say, okay, I just spent 60 bucks, well, okay, I'm done. And this is how Wish makes money, and those Chinese scammers, and in order to fight this, Wish to just simply not list those products anymore. And it really pisses me off that Wish is just listing that crap. Not only GPUs, there are so many other fake things. There are fake memory sticks, fake SSDs, fake USB drive, fake memory cards. It is really a pain. And I'm not really sure how they can still even operate their business. But anyhow, it was a lot of fun fixing that GPU. If you want some more information, I'll leave you some links down below in the description. As always guys, big thanks for watching. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye.